Guys, what's going on? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So happy you're here, guys, and so happy that if you're watching this video, that you're still with us here. Now, this is going to be a coin, guys. This is going to be a coin that I have not sold, and that I'm not going to sell until something goes green on my end, all right? Meaning, I'm here... I've been here, and I hadn't sold any of these coins. And here's the thing, guys, and what are we talking about? We're talking about Bitcoin SV, obviously, guys. We're talking about Bitcoin SV. And the thing was, guys, with this coin is I just haven't sold any, okay? I just I have the same amount for, uh, I don't know, uh, I bought it when it was going up like a knucklehead. And um, it's not that I'm trapped in this trade. I plan on buying more when I can get my head out of my own ass. I can get my head out of my own ass. So here's the thing with Bitcoin SV, guys, is when you look up anything on YouTube, guess who you see? Me, your boy, your boy Chadwick, talking about it, talking about it. And thanks for the compliments on the hair, guy. I guys, I really appreciate that. You know, it's not even my real hair. This is actually a, a toupee. It's, the, uh, it's a fake hair, just like people call Bitcoin SV the fake Bitcoin. So we'll see how this plays out, guys. I, I'm, I'm curious. You know, it's been quite a year for... For Bitcoin SV, we had the Craig Wright thing build up at the first of the year. If you guys remember, just a little history lesson. If you guys haven't been around, uh, you know this is the top performing coin of the year. Uh, January, December of the end of the year, it was on Coin Market Cap, kind of like I don't know, twice a week, and uh, it was pretty exciting. Obviously, it kind of lost some excitement. Uh, we lost some people in the space that you know were kind of influential. That I think you know, I wish they would come back around. So. Shout outs to Joshua Hensley. Shout outs to uh, uh, Josh. You know, please, please, please come back or at least consider coming back. Uh, but, you know, we're still here, guys. And, and you know, they're still here in spirit. So, uh, you know, we just got to hope this stuff works out for us, guys. You know, you can't you can't have everybody, everybody get in their way all the time, including myself. You know, that would be a non that wouldn't be that wouldn't be reality. So, you know, what, what, what am I talking about again? I keep getting lost on these videos. It's been so long since I've been on here. So. Uh, basically, the thing with Bitcoin SV, guys, is the price sucks, okay? The price sucks. Now, the price sucking on a coin is actually pretty funny because had we all had the ability to buy more Bitcoin SV, and shout outs to a few people in the chat that are buying, uh, you guys are smart. You guys are smart. But for knuckleheads like us, for knuckleheads like me, um, you know, it just kind of sucks in all areas because we can't get enough of this coin. We want to. We want to buy more of it. But like I said, when your head's stuck up your own ass, uh, it's really hard to figure out how to get it out of your ass. Does that make sense? Because it's stuck. So you guys might think this is funny. You might think it's just borderline retarded nor fully retarded. But nonetheless, guys, we're waiting on South Korea to pump Bitcoin SV. At least I am. I want to see South Korea pump Bitcoin SV. South Korea, if you guys are on any of these any South Korean exchanges, can you please just do us all a big favor and just pump the fuck out of this coin? Is that so much to ask? I mean, I've been sitting here wanting this to happen for fucking ever, and it never has, and it probably never will. But the thing is, is it probably will when I'm no longer in the project. So can we just do it now? Could it Could it be a little bit more of a thing, a little bit of more of a sense of urgency to happen now. And obviously, guys, I'm just talking it up. I'm just messing around. So, like I said, the price here, guys, is sitting at about 61,000 Korean wands. And that's just confusing as hell to me, because I don't know what the hell that even means, okay? Because I'm, I'm here in the United States uh, with all the other knuckleheads, and we're looking at dollars. So, the reason I got this pulled up on Korean won, guys, is just simply because, uh, you know, all jokes aside... We have been seeing, we have seen in the past, South Korea pump the fuck out of this coin, all right? We've seen it back here, back here. Uh, I'm not sure about here, but definitely back here we saw it. And I, and I know for a fact, guys, because I was sitting at my job serving tacos at Puesto Mexican Grill back in 2019. Uh, and I was sitting there one night, uh, you know, I was polishing silverware or uh, sticking a fork up my ass or something, something stupid. And I saw this coin go up. 200% in like an hour, I felt like. I mean, I know it doesn't say it on here on the graph that it was that fast, but um, this was one of those coins I saw on Robinhood, guys, that just shot up. It just went out of, you know, it just went straight up when I was at work. And I'm like, what the hell? 
what the hell is going on here? And I had some coins from the fork, guys. I, I did get a little bit of the coins from Robin Hood on the fork. And, um, you know, and then I came back in like a knucklehead and bought back here. So, you know, I think I actually got in a little bit back in January. This is actually where I, I started buying. So this was like a four-month period, guys. And if we look at the math on this, it's kind of interesting because this would actually set us into right about now. Uh, just to let you guys know, I got it back in January 2021 where I started buying Bitcoin SV. I started seeing some of these these people that were in the Bitcoin SV community. And shout out to all the Bitcoin SV people out there. You guys are badass. You know, I don't care what people say about us. We're 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 badass, and uh, we know it, and we know it, and we're not looking for anybody's approval with it. So the thing is, guys, is it shot up? It shot up. So I jumped in like a knucklehead, like most of us do. And uh, I've been holding ever since, guys. And obviously, the prices came down. You know, it's, it's came down quite a bit. Uh, and it looks like we got to recover quite a bit just to get back to, to green. But hell, if we went back to green, guys, you know how badass that would be? You know how that badass that would be? And that's what I'm about to show you here. That's what I'm about to show you here. So when I look at these graphs, guys, you know, I, I joke around a lot. I try, to, I try to keep it light on the channel. I try to keep it humorous on the channel. But when we start looking at certain things, guys, we know that this coin can go back into the green relatively quick. And uh, like I said, back here in January, when I jumped on this like a knucklehead, um, you know, it went up even more. It went up even more four months later. And that's kind of what, what I'm hoping that will happen here. And I'm hoping that this looks like a straight line uh, like Dogecoin does. Uh, and this is kind of one of my moonshot hopes and dreams. We're sitting at 46 US dollars, guys, if you guys are wondering uh, on the math on those Korean wands uh, for anybody here in the United States. But look at this, guys. All the All the big exchanges have... Uh, all South Korean big exchanges have BSV. And you know what? I want to bring up another point is that even though this coin's been delisted de quite a few places, it, don't you think it's a little weird that it's still trading in perpetual or futures on uh, Binance? Isn't that a little bit strange? Is that, is that not strange to anybody? I find that a little bit weird. So um, I don't know what you guys think about that. Drop it in the comments, though. Uh, but we're, you know, we're looking for a moon launch. We're, lo we're looking for, um, you know, with this coin, I'm hoping that, it, uh, you know, I'm hoping, you know, it's based on hope now at this point, you know, you can't depend on hope, but at this point you kind of can because, uh, it's, it's, it runs so thin in one's mind. Uh, when you, when you get into this stuff and you immerse yourself in it and just things don't work out, it, it gets, it gets tough guys. And I know a lot of people have left. We lost, you know, like I said, we've lost people in the Bitcoin SV community, but I would say at the root core, the reason we lost a lot of these folks guys is, is maybe, uh, you know, a lot of these people that used to comment all the time that kind of stop. I think that they just, you know, times got tough and they had to sell their crypto. It's really just that simple. It's not super complicated to figure out uh, because I've been talking with people. You know, I've heard from people. Uh, I've talked with people, you know, that have, that have let me know this kind of stuff. So this isn't just uh, just me, but I'm letting you guys know that I'm holding strong on this coin, guys. And I'm hoping for the best at this point. You know, that's all we can do. We really can just hope that some of this stuff works out in our favor um, and that the you know the, the 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 contracts and the and the and the buy and sell orders are somehow pinned to something that we have no control over that will somehow uh, hopefully put us in a great position. Obviously, that's what we want. We want everybody on the channel to be in a great position. If you guys are out there, uh, you know, in Korea or uh, behind a computer screen, can we can we just do us a big favor, guys, and just pump this coin? Talk to you later, guys. Take care.